we will be looking at the problem on multiply sections. That is, we have a thin follow section which has here, okay, we have a thin follow section which has two subsections. Okay. So, um, we look at this problem. This is the problem. So, uh, in this figure, we have uh, we are given like the maximum permissible shear strength is 60 megapascal. Megapascal and uh, modulus of rigidity is 26 megapascal. We need to find the torque transmitter in MT and the angle of twist per unit length theta. Okay, so this is the figure. We have two uh, e block. Uh, so the dimension of each one is given. So the thickness is uh, T. We have uh, block one. Okay. And, uh, the torque length or uh, Total breadth is P. Total breadth is A. We have to solve this problem. We are, we are given the value of P is 15 mm and thickness is 2 mm. So, here are the solutions. So, if we put down the given data, we have Tomax uh, is 34. And uh, we'll just find the area of the segment. The thickness is so small when compared to the area. We can find the thickness. So A is equal to A1 and A2. Both are the areas of this block is A1. This block A1. And this block is A2. So A1 and A2 are both A squared. So by parallel membrane analysis, we just draw the membrane uh, diagram. So we don't know the height of the membrane. We just assume that the height, the height of the membrane section, height of the membrane section. And so uh, this the slope is h1 by t. The slope is h1 by t by two. Um, this thing, the slope is h1 minus. H2. Uh, the this two by so the, this height is one minus six. It seems that height is at minus six. Okay. So this is relevant because uh, in this section, in this section, <coughs> in this section, we assume that the shear flow is given and the shear flow is given. I have drawn below. So drawn below here. Here we assume that the shear flow is given. The shear flow is given. Uh, in my previous view, I have mentioned that uh, the height of the membrane is analogous to the shear flow. So the shear flow is given. The shear flow is given. So the equation that we use here is 2g theta i a i is second angle of dq by t ds. So this is delta q by t ds. Okay. Delta q is uh, the change in the height of the membranes or change in shear flow. So this is for a continuous system. Here we have discrete system, but uh, the shear flow over the entire length is constant because the thickness is in okay. So uh, we can discretize this. That is, we can write in terms of sigma rather than this for this continuous system. So for uh, we can write it over integral over the uh, this term of the lower uh, dc of this term. Okay. So, we will see how we will do this problem. So, first, uh, I have written what I have written here is we have dc, the thicknesses dc, ed, dc, df, and t. So, dc um, thickness are equal to t. Thickness of ab is 2 and the thickness of df is here. So, I just put some uh, names. Uh, so I'll consider the two um, cells independently. So in cell A, B, C, D, uh, like from the above equation, I have uh, two G theta one A square because the area is A square. Okay. So the first thing is this thing, delta Q by T ds. So I, I, this is for as I mentioned, this is for a system. I'm looking at the uh, uh, 
から。ディスクリート。ディスクリート。So, so the thickness of the front here is h one by two, which is a slope. The、uh, thickness is the、uh, slope. So,、uh, this is similar to h one by t. As h one is analogous to the, the shear flow, everything it does q1. So, q1 by 2t for ab, the thickness is q1 by 2t, maybe a. And this is the length. So, for ds, for discrete system, this becomes the length. Okay. Plus for bc, similarly, this cell. So, I can say this cell alone. Here I have q1. On E, we have Q1. Here, 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 Q1. And we'll consider it in the direction of flow. So, this is the direction of flow. So, or the shear flow. So, q1 by t into a. This is for a. So,、uh, just simplifying or grouping up the terms, we'll get 7 by t, q1 minus t. And this is theta1. Okay, similarly, I'll have、uh, in the cell CDEF. So, if I get cell CDEF. So, this is q1 minus q2. This is q2. This is q2. This is q2. So, in this cell, if we had a cell here, the flow was in this direction. So, in this cell, the flow occurs in this direction. The shear flow is in this direction. So,、um, these things are opposite to each other. So, this is minus of this thing, so this becomes q1 minus q2 for this cell. So, 2g theta2 a square, that is the,、um, this equation. For cf, similarly, what I have written here, I can express it here. So, just grouping the terms, I will get theta2 is equal to 1 by g a t into 5q2 minus q1. Okay. So these two cells are、uh, components of a single block.、Okay. So the angle of twist would be the same for, each, for both of them. So I can write theta1 is equal to theta2. So I'll get an expression or、uh, relationship between the shear flows, their shear flow. So obviously, we know that the shear flow is equal to、uh, tau into t, where tau is the shear stress and t is the thickness. So, we are, we are given the maximum shear stress. So, we, we, want, we want to know where the maximum shear stress o c c u r and then we can solve this problem. Okay, so we know that TAB is equal to 2T and TFE is T by 2. That is a, a given, given thing. Okay, so if we substitute or if we just write tau in terms of the shear flow, we get tau is equal to Q by T. Okay, so, if we substitute these things, we have 2t into this equation and、uh, t by 2 into this equation, we see that tau ab is less than tau fe. So, tau fe should, be the, should have a maximum shear stress.、Okay. So, we assume that fe, tau fe has a maximum shear stress and proceed, and we'll check this. So, if, if it doesn't、uh, come out to be tau fe has a maximum shear stress, we'll go back and substitute tau ab. Then we'll check. And if it does not come as to EB or to FE has the maximum shear stress, then we will put、uh, like this thing that is to CD has the maximum shear stress. And we will check it again. Okay. Here I am going to assume that to FE has the maximum shear stress because obviously I, I know that to EB is less than to FE. So substituting, we will get to FE is equal to 60 megapascal, which is, which is given. Okay, which is、uh, given. So, So, f is equal to q2 by t by 
as I have written here. So substituting as I know that uh, t is equal to 2, we will cancel out, we will get q2 as well as q2 is uh, 68 newton per millimeter. And um, we know that q1 is equal to 4 by 3 q2, substituting we will get q1 is 90.67 newton per millimeter. So we got this, now we get check. So this is So we will find out the stresses in each component A, B, C, F, C, D, and uh, B, C, and F, E. So this is just basic substitution. So after substituting, we will get the values of maximum, maximum, the values of shear stresses as these things. So we can see that the maximum shear stress uh, occurs at 2 F, E. That is what we have assumed. So in case uh, if we assume that two A B had the maximum shear stress, and we uh, computed Q one Q two, and we compute uh, two with these these things, we will get something which is we, we may get a uh, value which is greater than sixteen megapascals here. Okay, which is obviously wrong because the maximum shear stress that can occur at any section is sixteen megapascal. After that, failure may occur. So, uh, this is what we have assumed is correct. Okay, otherwise, uh, there may be, there will be a stress which is a stress, there will be stress values which will be more than 16 megapascal. So, so that's, um, yeah, we have found the maximum shear stresses. Now, um, we have the values of Q1 and Q2. We can find the uh, angle of twist by unit length. So, from the above equation, we have the angle of twist by unit length. This either we can substitute this thing, this thing, both are the same. We can substitute angle of twist as five into q to sixty eight into q minus q one, that is ninety point six seven. We will get a value in radians per millimeter, that is point zero zero six one radians per millimeter. To convert it into uh, degrees, we multiply it by pi by one eighty by pi. So we'll get 0 0.0092 degree per millimeter. So to find the torque, uh, very simple. That is, uh, torque is equal to uh, summation over 2 AQ, where AQ is a shear flow. This is equal to 2 into V1, V1 plus V2, V2. Yeah. So obviously, A1 and V2 are the same. Now that is V square substituted. So we will get at 90.40 Newton meters. So this is how we solve a problem for multiple sections. That's it.